Okay, here we have our little traffic simulator and we just go through and operate the traffic lights and well we only have one car running you can see it gets the long green light and then the other traffic gets a short abbreviated light and basically what we have going on is something that looks like this in a block diagram we've got our green timer yellow and then we put delay and that controls the timing sequence now we also have a minimum green timer and the inputs to that are going to be our sensors and also our walk light and we just go through and we count through a cycle and then what we have is when we get the delay timer when that finishes off it sets off a one shot which controls a light control flip-flop that tells which control is active and which light is kind of the inactive or the red light and from there we take that uh, control flip-flop and that signal goes into all our contactors with the timer signals to say which lights are lit and if we go back to the simulator um, what we have is we have our lights and then we can turn the other one so it can go and then we can see the function where uh, it goes short and it pretty much shortens up every time since both traffics are running now when we have the walk light uh, we can just press it and when it has the light it walk is immediate now when it doesn't have the light and let me wait until it changes like here it has to wait until the signal changes and then the walk light goes on and so if we look at the code over here it's a little more complex than what we've been used to but we have a green timer yellow and delay now over here, and this one is pretty important, this is the light flip-flop. And what we do is every time we go through the delay signal, we send it through a one-shot, and that triggers off our flip-flop signal. Now we're also going to make a little video on how the flip-flop circuit actually works. Um, but when you're doing these complex timing diagrams, the best thing to do is actually, if I can find it, draw up a timing diagram so you can figure what signals control other ones so when this one goes on the rising edge you can see here it actually sets off this signal and then this signal also sends here and this is just for the uh, the traffic walk light signal so that's where our traffic light operates